Welcome to Theme Girl. So by default, WooCommerce doesn't give you a registration page. All it gives you are two options. One, to show a very basic registration form with an email field and a password field on the My Account page if the user is not logged in. And other is to simply register users during checkout. Now you might want to create a custom registration page for your site where you can collect more information from your users with custom fields. Maybe you want to collect shipping and billing information right off the bat so that users can have a smooth checkout process. Well, all that is not possible within WooCommerce, but you can use a plugin and you can make it happen. So in this video, we'll be creating a custom dedicated registration page with a registration form with custom fields where you can collect shipping and billing information right off the bat. And also you might have other questions like, you know, what if I want to register users during checkout? Checkout, or whatever fields you have within this new registration form, all those can be synced to the checkout registration as well. So let's get started. But before we do, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. All right, so here I am within the dashboard of a fresh new WooCommerce site, and I haven't done much. I've just added a product and I've set up a cash and delivery payment method. That is about it. Now, by default, if we talk about WooCommerce registration, there isn't much. WooCommerce gives you two different ways to register, one of them being during the checkout and the other one on the My Account page. So I'll show you what both of them look like. I'm going to enable both of them and save my settings and now if i open this site in an incognito window now here i'm currently interacting as a user that is not logged in so if i go within the my account page it'll say you know you can register and if i go within the shop i get something like a product in my cart i proceed to check out then what i can do is i can create my account here as well. So these are the two different ways to register in WooCommerce. You don't necessarily have a dedicated registration page, you just have a My Account page which can act like a registration page. But even then, there isn't much. There is just an email field. And within your WooCommerce settings, if you turn this option off where it says send password setup link, and I'm gonna save the changes. And if I refresh this My Account page once again, then all I get is an email field and a password field, which might not be the best registration experience for your user. So, how do you make it better? Well, since WooCommerce doesn't give us the functionality of creating a dedicated registration page, we're going to have to use this plugin right here called User Registration. It is a registration plugin for WordPress that helps you create multiple registration forms on your site with custom fields and more added functionalities, integrations, all that kind of stuff. And within this plugin, there is a feature called WooCommerce Integration, but it does come with a price. So if you purchase any one of their premium plans, then you'll be able to create a dedicated registration page for your WooCommerce store. So yeah, this is a standard checkout process you can get any of these plans right here personal will do just fine as well it is a standard checkout process after which you'll get a mail the mail is going to look something like this you'll get a username and a password using which you can log into this wp everest site and upon log in to this site right here within dashboard you'll be able to see your downloads and you can simply download this user registration profile right here just click on the download button and the download will begin and within the license keys tab you'll also get your product key you'll also be able to see your license key details for now just copy the product key download the zip file and let's get back to our woocommerce site all right so here we are back in our wordpress dashboard and now let's go within plugins and click on add new plugin. Also, by using this plugin, you will not only be creating a dedicated registration page, but you can also use custom fields during the WooCommerce checkout registration. So don't even worry about it. So let's go ahead. Let's choose a file first. Let's choose the user registration profile that we just downloaded and then click on install now. So there you go. The plugin has been uploaded, installed, and now let's activate it. And as soon as the plugin activates, you'll be redirected to this setup wizard right here. Let's click on get started. Now we're not going to be spending a lot of time on the setup wizard right here. I'm simply going to allow this. So by default, the plugin will give you a registration form, a registration page, and a my account page. So let's click next and all these settings you'll be able to change it later on. These are all just form behaviors and other options right here like you know visually what sort of page layout you want etc. Yeah you can look through all these settings and you can go through them later on. Right now I'm just leaving it as it is and now let's go back to our dashboard. Right so we've installed the plugin but we have not activated our license key. So to activate our license key let's go within plugins and the product key that you just copied from a WP Everest dashboard simply paste it right here and press enter. So there you go the license key has activated the plugin as well. So now if we go within user registrations we'll see that the extensions menu 
is available. And now we need to look for the WooCommerce integration, which is right here. Simply turn this on and now we can get started with our form creation. So from within this user registration menu, go within all forms. And here you'll see that the plugin already gives us a default form. So I'm just going to edit this form. And in here within our form builder, you can already see there are four different fields, username, user email, user password, and a confirm password field. So if you want to collect more information from your users, you can, if you want to get their first name, their last name separately, you can simply drag and drop these fields on the form. I'm not going to do that just yet. If you want to collect your user's phone number, you can easily get the number field, which is this right here. If you want to get their date of birth, you can do that as well. If you want to know any other sort of information from your users, you can make use of all these fields right here. But since this video is dedicated to WooCommerce, I'm not going to do much here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a date of birth field right there. And we're going to have to rename this. I'm going to title it date of birth and this is your normal date selector field so yeah i'm going to leave it as it is also the next thing that i want to do is i want to collect maybe their phone numbers so i'll drag this number field right here i'm going to drag it underneath there and i'm just going to type in phone number and that is it if i want to make this field required i can make it required as well date of birth i want to make this thing required then i can there we go and I'm just going to update the form. So if you're creating a WooCommerce registration form, then you'll most likely want to collect billing and shipping address by default. So let's do that. These right here are all the fields. You know, you got your billing address fields and your shipping address fields, which we're going to use on this form. What I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new row here and I will drag in this billing address a title field. So this is just the title. And now I'm going to add another row for our actual fields. And I'm going to make this row double column there it is and yeah let's get started with our fields and the good thing about this form is that you can only drag and drop the fields that you want like you know i want the first name field i want the last name field i'll probably want the country field as well so i'll drag that in i don't want the company field instead i'll get the address field i don't want the address to field i just want to get the town slash city field and maybe i want the postcode slash zip code field right there and besides this you'll probably want to use an email field and a phone field so let's do that. There it is. This right here are our billing address fields. So now your user, whoever is filling out this form has two options. They can either fill out this billing address field and they cannot fill out the shipping address field. So we'll assume that the shipping address is the same as the billing address. Though if they want to fill out the shipping address differently, then you know you can simply drag and drop the shipping address fields or to make things tidy, you can have this checkbox right here which says ship to different address if you are dealing with physical products on your site then users will simply tick this box right here and then all the shipping address fields will be shown to them and in order to show them these fields of course these fields need to be in our form so i'm going to add a new row once again i'm going to get our shipping address title field and i'm going to add another row i'm going to make this row double column and first name last name we have our address one right there address two i'm not going to use country for sure actually let's do this let's use the town slash city field and let's use the postcode slash zip code field right there and i guess let's see how this form looks so if i visit my site i told you before that this plugin already gives you a registration page so i'm going to open the registration page where this form is already in use you can see you got your username, user email, phone number, date of birth, user password and confirm password fields. And besides that, you've got your billing address field right here for WooCommerce. And if your users tick on this ship to different address field or the checkbox, then they'll see these shipping address fields as well. And wherever this form is, users will be able to fill it out. They can fill it out just like so. They can submit and the user will be registered to your site and then they can use the my account page to log in and also you might have noticed something you've two different my account pages so we need to fix this as well so by default woocommerce gives you one my account page and user registration gives you another my account page we're gonna have to use one of them which we'll talk about but let me first show you by logging into this site i've used my email and i'm using the password that i just used to register log in and there it is i've simply logged in this is how users will be able to register to your site if they want to change out their profile details they can do so from right here if they want to change their address they can do so as well if they want to check their orders they can if they want to check their downloads they can but currently we have two different my account pages which is not ideal so we're going to have to fix this but before we do that let me show you what the checkout process would look like for a registered and a logged in user so if they have something within their cart they go to the checkout 
then you can see that the billing address is already filled out for them their emails filled out for them they can simply select their payment method they can do the payment and they can place their order there you go it's pretty simple okay so now to fix the issue of two different my account pages you've got the Woo commerce my account page right here and you've got the user registration my account page so since the user registration my account page is much better what you can do is you can simply draft this WooCommerce My Account page and only make it so this My Account page is functional. So now to fix the issue of two different My Account pages, what you can do is you can simply draft this WooCommerce My Account page. You don't really want it now since you've got this better My Account page from user registration right here, which will already show all your orders, your downloads, your addresses, everything that the WooCommerce My Account page shows will also be shown here within the user registration My Account page. Although currently it is not working because you know we have two different account pages it is creating a conflict so we're going to have to fix this and you can simply draft this WooCommerce my account page and use the fully customizable user registration my account page where you can change the look of these endpoints you can add new endpoints where you can render short codes within these endpoints everything that you would want to customize within your my account page you'll be able to do it so to do that let's first go within our user registration settings go to advanced and from in here, you can see that currently the My Account page by default is selected to this My Account page with ID number 9. Simply search for My Account once again and select the other My Account page, which is the user registration My Account page with a different ID, ID 17. The IDs might be different for you, so keep that in mind. Just select the other one and save changes. And once you've done this, if we go back and if I refresh this user registration my account page and I go within the orders tab, you can see I can view my orders, I can view my downloads, I can view my addresses, I can add or I can edit my addresses from this tab as well. So now our old WooCommerce my account page is useless. So we can simply just draft this page and to do that, we can go within pages. And here you can see two different my account pages. This is the user registration my account page and this is the old WooCommerce one. I'm going to quick edit this. I'm going to change its slug to my account old and I'm going to make it status draft and I'm going to up update this page. And here for WooCommerce my account page, I'm going to change its slug as well. Currently it shows my account too. So let's fix that and make it just my account and update it. There we go. So now if I refresh this page, you will not be able to see the other my account page and you will just see this user registration my account page which looks better so yes there you go you fix that issue and you are ready you have a custom registration page for your woocommerce store from where users can register and you're all good to go anyways you might now be wondering what if i allowed users to create an account during checkout what do i do then because the entire point of creating a registration page for your woocommerce store is not just to collect shipping and billing information but it's also to collect more information about your users it could be date of birth etc their gender information things like that so by default you will not be able to collect it during checkout right well there is a handy feature within user registration plugin as well so depending on whichever additional fields you've used like the date of birth field that we used or the number field that we used well you can make your users fill out those fields as well during checkout and also this account creation on my account page is no longer valid because we're not using the default woocommerce my account page you can simply turn this off it's all right but yeah what can we do about the checkout registration let's see so if we go within user registration then we go within settings we'll be able to see this woocommerce tab right here simply go to it so here what you can do is you can select the new registration form that we just created the default form i'm going to select it and here you've got a few different options so here you've got this first one right here which says replace a checkout login so this plugin also gives you a login form so if i go here within all the forms i'm going to open this on a new tab you'll be able to see this login form page right here if i click on it then you'll see this login form right here and this login page short code you can use the short code to render this form and yeah you can customize both the login and the registration form using their style customizer add-on going back to this setting right here you can replace the checkout login so woocommerce lets users log in during the checkout as well so if you want to replace that checkout login form with the user registration login form then you can enable this option and this option right here is only valid if you're using the woocommerce my account page where you've enabled registration so it will override the default woocommerce registration form in the my account page but since we're not using it this option is not valid for us but as for the checkout if you turn on this option right here sync checkout registration then you'll also be able to show extra user registration fields or the custom fields that you've added you know you can use phone number date of birth you can use radio you can use file upload fields 
etc etc you can use all those and simply save your changes right here now there's more options here which are not mandatory you can simply turn these on depending on what you like also this feature right here to sync the extra user registration fields during the checkout registration this feature is only available for the classic woocommerce checkout so i'll have to switch to classic checkout for woocommerce and depending on when you're watching this video this feature might come to the woocommerce block checkout as well so i keep that in mind for now let's switch back to the classic checkout i'm gonna go within checkout edit this page and i'm going to delete this checkout block and instead I'm going to get a classic checkout block just like so and I'm going to save it. So now let me show you what this will look like. I'm going to open this page in an incognito window. I'm a user interacting with a site. I go to the shop page, I add something to my cart, I view the cart, I proceed to checkout and here I have my classic WooCommerce checkout and here if I click on create an account button then I'll be able to fill out this phone number field and the date of birth field as well I can select my date of birth and this user whoever is registering will be able to view this information from their my account page they'll be able to change this information and after you've done this both the registration page experience and the checkout registration experience for your user will remain the same so there you go. So I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure to drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you whenever I'll see you. Take care.